This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good evening, my Real News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update for August 21, 2023. And in the news this evening, family in shock as a St. Elizabeth man found dead. The family of a St. Elizabeth man has been left in a state of bewilderment following the recent discovery of his decomposing remains. The deceased man, identified as Ramon Elliston, 22 years old, had been reported missing on July 17. His body was found in Montego Bay, St. James, on July 29. Ramon was a source of constant joy. His presence was always vibrant and engaging. His determination and passion for his work were truly admirable, shared one family member, reflecting on the qualities that defined Elliston's character. Up until his passing, Elliston had been employed as a security guard at the Sanctuary International Airport in Montego Bay. The news of his demise has sent shockwaves through his family, with his mother particularly devastated by the loss of her son. She is not in the best state of mind right now, said another relative, highlighting the profound impact of the tragedy on Elliston's mother. 66-year-old farmer charged with rape and a grievous assault of 7-year-old girl. 66-year-old Reginald Hebert, otherwise called Reggie, a farmer of Albion Mountain, St. Mary, was arrested and charged with rape and a grievous assault following an incident in his community earlier this year. Reports from the Albion police are that on three separate occasions in 2023, Hebert sexually assaulted a seven-year-old girl. A report was made to the police and an investigation launched. Hebert was later arrested and charged. His court date is being finalized. Police plan operations to restore public order in St. Mary. The St. Mary police have announced the plans to conduct operations in Port Maria and other areas in the parish to restore public order. Deputy Superintendent Kevin Francis, acting commander for the St. Mary Division, said the police will be having dialogue with business operators to find ways to address issues affecting the town. He said the Jamaica Defense Force and other government agencies will be engaged to assist in protecting residents and the businesses. We have also reached out to Transport Authority, Island Traffic Authority, and we will be engaging other stakeholders with a view to properly manage this space as we seek to bring about some semblance of order and ensure that we reassure law-abiding citizens to include our business partners and to ensure the safety of road users, he said. Labour Minister says fewer Jamaicans could participate in Canadian farm work program amid complaints. Labour Minister Pernell Charles Jr. says there could be a reduction in the number of Jamaicans participating in the Canadian farm work program amid complaints about the working conditions. Mr. Charles said he was not expressing his views in his capacity as a minister, but as a common sense Jamaican. I believe that there may be many different elements that will affect the mind of a person who is managing a farm and trying to determine whether they want to put Jamaicans or Mexicans or Canadians or whoever. Um, and I do believe, this is just my opinion now, I do believe that um, those are things that will be considered. I think persons will, even if they don't say it, all right, let's be real. <laughs> I'm going to be real. Even if they do not say it publicly, I think that all of those matters are considered Part of that is ensuring the integrity of the program, which means we can't just take what, what anybody says. We have to investigate it. And whatever facts come before us, we determine based on those facts, um, and then we act accordingly based on the facts, not just based on the opinion. And that's what we're doing. Uh, but, and I think so far, so far the process has been, has been smooth, and we, we, we're going to continue to do some more investigation and hopefully we'll have some information for Jamaica this week. There has been a situation with the weather. That's not something we can make up. That's something that, you know, the facts show. Um, two, it's obvious to me that persons that were involved in this situation still remain. Matter of fact, the majority of them still remain. So it will give me some concern to just latch it onto that alone without more. Um, and three, there are 
other things which I will not disclose publicly, which have been revealed to me in terms of working relationship, which I believe um, our liaison officer in, in their interrogation and in their examination, even before the men were returned um, and, and after, that would give me the impression that there may have been other reasons. Man fatally shot by police in Gregory Park. A man was fatally shot during a confrontation with the police in Gregory Park, St. Catherine, on Sunday evening. A firearm was also reportedly recovered. The incident reportedly occurred about 7 o'clock. Up to news time, the man was only identified by his alias Bosi Teef. The security forces have been maintaining a presence in Gregory Park in response to recent fire bombings in two sections of the Portmore community. Parliamentarians have been investigated for illicit enrichment should declare it, says Lewis. Former Roman Catholic priest Michael Lewis says that the six parliamentarians who are being investigated by the Integrity Commission for illicit enrichment should focus on clearing their names instead of solely worrying about reputational damage. Mr. Lewis says that the parliamentarians should make a public declaration that they are being probed by the anti-corruption body and to deal with the outcome of the investigation. If somebody were to come forward and say, here now, I am one of the individuals being investigated. I am making it clear that I have not participated in any activity that would compromise my integrity, one, as a human being, two, as a, a, a serving um, public official. But I just want the public to know that, yes, I am one of those, and I want my name to be cleared eventually, and I will leave the system to run its course. I will leave the lawyers to do what they need to do so that at the end of the day, I will be vindicated. There have been calls from civil society groups, including Jamaica Accountability Meter Portal, National Integrity Action, Advocates Network, and the Jamaicans for Justice, for the six parliamentarians to either be named or reveal themselves. The parliamentary opposition has said none of its members is under investigation and has called for the government to indicate whether any of its members are under probe. Prime Minister Andrew Holness last week suggested that, so far, no member of his government has indicated they are under investigation. Taxi operator charged with rape, buggery, burglary and assault. A taxi operator was charged under the Sexual Offenses Act by lawmen assigned to the St. Mary Police Division following an incident in Rio Nuevo in St. Mary on Thursday, August 17. Charged is 45-year-old Kevin Bromfield, otherwise called Phoenix, a taxi operator of content at St. Anne. Bromfield was charged with rape, buggery, and assault occasioning actual bodily harm. According to police reports, at about 9 p.m. on August 17, Bromfield kicked in the door and entered the complainant's apartment, and a physical altercation occurred. The victim was hit in the face multiple times when she lost her consciousness. She later realized that, that she was sexually assaulted. A report was made to the police and the Bromfield arrested. On Sunday, August 20, Bromfield was charged after a question and answer session. His court date is being finalized. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.